it's a funny thing. I got asked, I've been, I keep getting asked to come talk to humanity scholars about collaborative authoring and like how to, how to do it. And I'm like, (laughs) this video cannot go public. (laughs) Cause I'm like, it's not like open up a Google doc, like set some ground rules. Y'all all all do group work in your classes. Like, how are you teaching your students to do this, this shit, do the same thing with your co-authors. So, oh, it says we're, we're not making this public. Can I talk, can I complain a little bit? Yeah. So you're yeah, working the recording. This? Okay, good. Um, <laughs> and that's why I'm so grateful to have you as a co-author and collaborator, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's this is that's one of those things that I I, I feel very very privileged is that I found. Uh, Traditionally, for the most part, most of my projects, I found people like you that I can work with, that we work well together and we like yeah. understand and respect each other's viewpoints and are willing to say like, yeah, I'll let, I'll let your idea come in or my, my idea comes forward a little bit more. Right. And I think we, we, we tend to work, I mean, we published a bunch of stuff together, it looks like. Yeah. Now that I'm looking <laughs> at all the things that we've reviewed. Right. It's like, all, oh, wait a minute. All the stuff we published and, you know, it's, it's always been pretty like painless it's been nice yeah. it's been fun even you know yeah unlike some i agree of those other i just talked about off the record um, <laughs> yeah yeah once i learned to stop once i learned to stop um feeling guilty when i didn't feel like i had the frame right and learned to rely on each other right yeah. and learn to rely on your framing that I could be like, oh yeah, so there's these pieces, then how do they put together? And you're like, boom, like this. And I'm like, yes, yes, right? So once I stopped having weird imposter syndrome bullshit about that, then then it was like, it was all, it's been totally seamless. And of course, that's never been an issue between you and me. That's just been an issue between me and my head. <laughs> I think we all have that stuff going on though, right? Yeah. You know, like I'm, I'm working on this thing now and I'm like, oh man, my, my organization, I don't understand what I'm doing. It's all messed up. Right. And, and I explained to her, man, she's like, that sounds pretty good. Let's go with that. Uh, and, and, but I'm also saying like, yeah, it still needs a lot of work. So we'll have to, you know, we'll have to work through it. Um, this is, I was right. just presented on Friday at the writing research cross borders. Oh yeah. Conference. And, uh, it was kind of a mess of a presentation, honestly. Um, but it was also, I had too many slides and not enough time, you know, the usual kind of stuff. <laughs> um, but it's, it's on uh, comparing how writers use the internet as a writing platform in the US and in China. Oh. Um, so, and I'm getting really excited about this project. So I'm really kind of, uh, you know, hoping that, that Homey and I can figure out how to move it forward. And Joan Mullen emailed me kind of out of the blue and said like, hey, I saw you presenting on this. Would you consider if, it's a, if it ends up being a bigger project, the, uh, international exchanges series oh yeah yeah and so i'm like okay good yeah now i'm thinking about it as a book good yeah right? that's awesome well too many slides always lead to a book yeah i mean i started working on this thinking like oh this will be a kind of simple thing and then now i'm realizing like even home is like yeah that might be more than one book oh. <laughs> But a lot of it's going to be kind of fun to write because it's going to be digging into the history of technology in the U.S. and China and how they parallel or, or diverge. And, and that oh, wow. Yeah, well, that's very cool. How long do you think that project's going to take? A year or two, probably. Oh, wow. That's pretty quick. Well, I mean, if, if we do it. If we, mean, if we get if on it, it and force ourselves to, to oh, do oh. work, then it can be you, done. I don't think it, it because we're you not mean unlike be, this project. This project will get done if we do it. Same thing. I know. That's why we have weekly meetings now. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, <laughs> and so we'll and it's home and I'll do the same thing. We'll set up weekly meetings and we'll get some stuff done. I mean, I think a lot of what, what we're looking at, what we're doing is just um, because it'll be case studies of stuff that's publicly available. It's more textual analysis than anything else and historical. Mm, yeah. It's not going to, we'll, we'll probably do a few interviews as well while we're, while we're at it, but it's not uh, one of those kind of qualitative research projects that takes a ton of time methodologically. Right. It's just the, the, the collecting and reading and analyzing and translating um, right. that will take the time. But I, I've got, a, I, you know, I'm, I'm pretty close to having a solid framework and, okay. and organization, which means like within the next month or so, I think we can set up like this is, these are the pieces we're going to need to write. We're going to write it in this order and 
knock it out. Awesome. So I'm hoping we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> right. That was one of the reasons we brought this third editor in on that other project I was talking about is she, oh. she, she is good at saying like, get this done by this date. Right. You need to do this now. Do right. this thing. Your task yeah. is this. See, that's why you brought me on. Yeah, exactly. You didn't know, you didn't know that at the time, but. <laughs> uh, worked out really well. It did. I feel like it did. We, we complement each other very well when it comes to this work. And then now where I've been laggard, uh, uh, Michael Ferris comes in and kicks my butt. So okay. who, who you, knew that? You, you know, always need a butt kicker as one of your yeah. team members. Yeah, it's true. It's true. A cheerleader slash butt kicker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't just be a mean butt kicker. It has to be a yeah. you know, velvet fist. A velvet fist. <laughs> So we're just going to excerpt that portion from me praising you to the Velvet Fest as <laughs> as our first like as our first recording. Sure. <laughs> as a teaser for everybody, it oh, sort of sets up go. how we work together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Um, okay. As my as my. Although I talk too much about this project through. that I'm interested in, so we we would want to probably edit that out. Oh no, I think that's a good I think that that's a good thing because you it's a good example of how to I think my partner just ran into the wall. She was dancing around the room and I think she just smacked herself. She's doing laughs, okay. Um yeah, I think it's a good it's a good example of like how does a scholar at your level plan out a project, right? Which is just like even even with this book when it's taken us you know, 10 years to actually sit down and we, yeah. we do like every three or four years we'll get together and we'll just be like, okay, this is the table of contents. These are the ideas. This is how we're going to do it. We even went so far as to write a proposal at one point. Where did we send that? Did we send that to Minnesota and never heard back? Wait a minute. No, I think it, I thought we sent it to NYU. Yeah, maybe. Gosh, I have to go back in my email. That was when I was still at Illinois State. I don't know if I have that email anymore. Right? <laughs> I'll look and see if I should probably have a, if, it, if, if my Gmail was part of it or even if I was still at Michigan State, I won't have it. But if it was. No, we sent it to UMich when what's his name was still editor. Oh, really? Yeah. The interim guy. He wasn't interim, but oh. the guy, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. When Tom was there. Um, that's right. That's right. So well, this, that was, this book that was, has had a that history. Was, that was in flux. That that the press was in flux then. So I, I it was. Blame it. I didn't. It was po post. What's his name and pre Charles. Yeah. My name. My names are failing me this morning. Um, I know. All I remember is that we went out drinking with him, whoever he was, in New York City. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> no, the, the I came before Tom. Oh yeah. What was his name? Like in. This is terrible. We should know this, right? We should know this. No, we have to look it up. <laughs> no, like we were like buddies with him. I know, I right? I remember his name. Like I was at a couple of conferences with him. He yeah. was a really nice guy. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'll have to look that up. But sometimes that happens with books, you know, editors move and change and whatnot. So okay, yeah. so we'll we'll figure out what press we want to go with, and then um, let's go back to the the videos. Um, figure out do you have 20 more minutes um uh just uh, 18 i have a meeting at noon but I can... yeah me too me too and yeah um 